For the Department of Natural Resources and Conservation, we're given state statute that says that if you uh, start a fire, you could be held liable for the costs of that fire. And like you mentioned, fires are very expensive these days, and so that's why we're uh, out getting the message out to everyone that it is very important to be careful with fireworks, follow fireworks restrictions, and uh, do your best to not ignite a wildfire. Now, Crystal, um, what, I, I hate to, I don't know if there even is such a thing as an average cost of fighting a fire, but, but let's say a fire uh, goes maybe 100 acres and takes several days to put out. Uh, is there some sort of ballpark figure that you can say, this is how much you could be on the hook for? Each fire is different depending on what resources come to assist the fire. But these days there are very few fires that um, are uh, affordable for one person to uh, cover the cost of. They could range anywhere from 200000 to a half a million for a regular fire. And, and the, the individual is held responsible for that. Uh, that and it's, I know, it, as you mentioned, it's by statute, right? Correct. Uh, there are on a case-by-case basis for the Department of Natural Resources and Conservation. But if you are found negligent, uh, there could be arrangements to uh, you would have to pay for the fire. Okay. Now, uh, would, would a person's homeowner's policy be able to help with that, especially if the fire started perhaps on your property? I can't speak to those details. But right now, what we're really trying to get the messages out is that things are drying up quickly and uh, fires are occurring across the state. And so it's very important right now during this busy recreational time of year with the 4th of July coming up that we take extra steps to ensure that uh, one spark from either campfires or a spark from fireworks or a wheel uh, frame that has gone bad on the road doesn't start a fire. It's really important for uh, the public to remember that fireworks are prohibited on all federal and state lands or even private land that's classified as forest. So to ensure that you're following those restrictions in your area. And if you do start a fire, uh, be sure to call 911 immediately.